I used to think that if I wanted to dress better, the first thing I needed to do was go down to the mall and spend hundreds of dollars. But now, obviously, I know that's just simply untrue. But I do understand that there are some people out there who do think that that's true. So today, I'm gonna be proving that that's just completely wrong. I'm gonna be proving to you that money does not equal style. And I'm gonna be showing you how to dress better for cheap and not spend a ton of money on new clothes. So the first step I'm gonna give you, you're not gonna have to spend any money at all. And that is going to be use what you have. Now, a lot of people overlook what they already have because if you're just getting into men's fashion you're thinking that you need to throw out your entire wardrobe you need to buy new clothes and stick to the new clothes only but honestly that is also untrue even if you feel like your style sucks and you have no idea what you're doing with men's fashion i promise you there are some clothes in your closet that still look good all you need to do is learn how to style them the first thing i can tell you to look for in your wardrobe is going to be the essentials now i'm talking plain white tees black tees grays essential colors like that also your plain pants like dark denim light wash denim black jeans stuff like that i have some many videos out there about essentials just make sure to find out what the essentials are and then look through your wardrobe to see if you have any of them and then whatever you have you can still continue to use now that you're into men's fashion and obviously it doesn't have to be just essentials one thing i like to do as well is look for outfit inspiration through instagram pinterest tiktok anything like that you can see other people who dress cool try to find outfits similar to what you like and while you're looking through these outfits make sure to keep in mind what you have in your wardrobe already so that way you could use throughout your outfits as well and then obviously whatever you don't use you can just throw out you could sell so that way you can have extra money so that way when you actually do go on those little shopping hauls you will have more money in hand so you can buy more things so the next tip that i can give you is going to be shop at the right places now shopping at the right places does not mean you have to go to the mall and spend a lot of money i mentioned that earlier that's just completely unnecessary if you're trying to dress better for cheap i promise you you should start shopping at places that you did not expect before because i remember when i first got into men's fashion i searched up what are the best stores to go shopping at i got a bunch of mall brands and i got a bunch of other stores that were really expensive and sure i definitely do understand why people go there to start getting into men's fashion but if you're trying to get clothes for a very cheap price go to the unexpected places some places that i can name off the top of my head are going to be places like walmart target ross marshall's now i know these sound like random places but you can get some really nice clothes here for a very cheap price the biggest example i can give you is i went to hollister i spent like 55 dollars on one flannel and then the next day i was at walmart shopping for some groceries and I got a little curious, so I decided to go into the men's section for clothes, and I found a very similar flannel for a fraction of the price. If I'm not mistaken, I think at very most it was something like $15, which is way less than the $55 flannel that I picked up the day before. So I promise you these places are going to be great places to pick up some nice clothes for cheap. You can get jeans from Walmart or Target for like $20. They also sell basic t-shirts, so like those plain ones that I was mentioning earlier, you can get them from Walmart or Target for like $10. And I would definitely be willing to prove that to you if you want to see a video of me shopping at the most unexpected random places for men's fashion i'll definitely be down to do that so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in the next tip that i can give you for dressing better without spending a lot of money is going to be never paying retail now i understand this is a lot easier said than done because most people have no idea how to go about doing that but one way that i really like to do this is going to be sneaker flea which is actually going to be the sponsor of today's video i've worked with them in the past i saw that you guys really like this so me and sneaker flea are here again they're actually going to be doing a september box which only costs $130 basically with this mystery box you're guaranteed your money back already so you already have the value that what you're paying for basically you have a guaranteed t-shirt from either yams day anti-social club supreme staple or even revenge and you're also guaranteed one accessory so like i said you're guaranteed these few items but you also have the chance to win a lot more than what you paid for which basically ties into what i was saying earlier you know never paying retail now if you're like me and you're really into all these hype sneakers like jordan ones dunks and all that but you do not want to pay resale price for these items sneaker flea is definitely going to be the place to check out because like i said you're guaranteed those items plus you have the chance of winning a lot more with their golden ticket items now basically with these packages you have the chance of winning a golden ticket item these golden ticket items include Jordan 1 breads, the Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs, $5,000 payouts, and a lot more than that. And one thing that I really like as well is something that they encourage is basically if you don't like the stuff that they give you with these mystery boxes, you have the opportunity to resell them for a lot more. If you do not know what reselling is, pretty much is getting your hands on one piece for a lower price and being able to sell it for a lot more. Now, this is something I always recommend just for a nice, easy way to make cash. Pretty much when I was younger and I first started getting into men's fashion, I was 14 years old, so I couldn't get a part-time job or anything. So the first thing I turned to was reselling. And that's how I ended up getting money for new shoes new clothes so that's something that you should definitely be interested in and the best way to do that is with sneaker flea so definitely make sure to check the link in the description it's going to be the first link down there 
So that way you can get your hands on the new September box. Now the two pieces that I got from Sneaker Flea is going to be this Yamborghini tee, which I do really like. I like the graphic in the back. I'm really into graphic tees, so I think this one will definitely fit my aesthetic. And then the next thing that I ended up getting was an off-white iPhone case for the iPhone XS Max. So like I said, one guaranteed tee and an accessory. So, so definitely make sure to check it out so that way you can pick it up for yourself as well. The next tip that I can give you is going to be avoiding stupid purchases. Now, this is something I used to do a lot and a few times I still find myself doing this, but I have found some patterns when I make these stupid purchases. I found out what these patterns were. I found these little red flags so that way I can know what these stupid purchases are so that way I won't waste my money. Pretty much what I mean by stupid purchases is buying one thing, wearing it maybe one or two times and never wearing it again. Because that's just a waste of money. And the easiest ways to avoid that is going to be making sure to buy things that you don't really need. Because whenever I do that, I end up realizing that that was just an impulse purchase. Pretty much what I mean by that is I have no intention of buying anything, but when I see something, I just have the sudden urge to buy it. That's an impulse purchase. So one thing that I like to do a lot is make lists of things that I want and things that I need. If I know I need more jackets for the fall, I go to the store, I buy more jackets. If I know I need more flannels, I'll take screenshots of flannels that I really like. And whenever I find a similar flannel like that, I'll go ahead and buy it. That's pretty much my favorite way to go shopping. But yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've bought one thing, wore it once, never worn again. It's just collecting dust in my closet. So definitely avoid that. That's just a waste of money. Because if you want to start dressing better, there is no point in buying one thing, wearing it maybe twice, and then never wearing it again. Like I said, that can be easily avoided. So make sure you don't do that. The next tip that I can give you is going to be discounts. Now that's pretty much what I mentioned earlier when you, I say don't buy anything for retail because there's always a way to get a discount on it. I have so many ways to get discounts on pieces that I want. For example, there's certain apps on the app store that you could download for student discounts like Student Beans or Unit Days. Those two are my favorite apps to get student discounts on some pretty big name brands. Every store has a little section of stuff that they couldn't sell in the past so they're just trying to get rid of. You could even sign up for newsletters. So if you go on a website, they're gonna ask you for your email and in exchange for your email, they give you 10% off. Now one thing that I did, I created a separate email just so I can give to these companies. So that way my inbox wouldn't be flooded. So yeah, those are my favorite ways to get discounts. I promise you, this works. It's something that I still do to this day. So definitely recommend that you try it out yourself. And the next tip that I can give you for dressing better for very cheap is going to be tailoring. Now let's say you bought some jeans a while back and they don't fit you anymore. Now for whatever reason, if they don't fit you and they have excess fabric and they just don't look good anymore because they're so baggy, or maybe you bought some new jeans that didn't fit you and then you never worn them. Or another way that you could do it is going to the thrift store, buying some jeans that don't really fit you. Whatever the case is, if you have pants that don't fit you, you could take them to a tailor. And then for a very affordable price, of course, it all depends on where you're at. But every tailor that I've been to is very affordable. You can get them perfectly tailored for you. So that way they look way better than any type of pants that you're gonna get right off the rack. That has saved me so much money instead of buying new jeans. I just tailor jeans that don't fit me anymore. Or you can go down to a thrift store, buy jeans for like $15 or even way cheaper and then take them to a tailor. And then final price for that is gonna be anywhere like 20 to $25 instead of buying like $60 jeans from the mall. That is a way better option. Anyways, those are my favorite ways to dress better without spending a lot of money because like I said, money does not equal style. You don't have to spend a ton of money on men's fashion to look good. But anyways, I hope this video did help you out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already in this channel, I simplify men's lifestyle. So make sure to do that right here. And if you want to see more videos right away, here are a few videos that I think could really help you out. But anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.